Well, hey, good morning, Baylife. How are we doing? Oh, wow, let's try that again. Hey, if you're in the room, how are you doing? Hey, there it is. Nicely done. Welcome. Uh, my name is Tom. This is 1017, and now it's time for a ministry moment. Will you do me a favor? If you're in the room, will you please welcome Genevieve Le Cicero to the stage with me? Come on out, Jen. How you doing? Doing great, thanks. Fantastic. Now, uh, I know this isn't your thing being in front of people like this, <laughs> uh, but thanks for, for jumping in and yeah. joining us. Now, you oversee uh, breakthrough groups here on the campus. Correct. All right, can you tell everyone what breakthrough groups are? Sure. So Breakthrough is a support group ministry that focuses on helping folks heal from the hurts of life, bad habits, all kinds of things that we encounter in the course of living. Uh, we meet in small groups uh, where we emphasize confidentiality because we want people to feel safe yep. sharing. Uh, we also, depending on the group, will use DVDs or workbooks to introduce information so that they can learn, we can learn, uh, healthy living. Um, to manage relationships. The things they're learning are biblical, based on God's word, uh, about emotions, emotional health, mental health, and very importantly, relationships. So basically what we're doing in our breakthrough groups is renewing our minds, mm. learning to change the way we think, and to think according to God's word, so that we can be transformed, like it says in Romans 12 too. Um, so that's pretty much it. And then the other thing I like to emphasize with the groups is that there's so much healing power in the con when, when someone can be in a group and share and know that it's a safe place. They're not going to be judged and condemned because we have guidelines and yeah. that's part of it. You know, we don't judge, we don't condemn. And that in itself is healing for folks to be able to talk. Uh, the groups are topical, so it's, it's important that if a person's thinking of coming to a breakthrough group, that you check it out online because it's the specific, specific topics we cover. So speaking of the topics, I know yeah. you have uh, four groups that meet this semester and, and a seminar coming up. Can you right. tell us about those? Sure. So actually this coming Saturday, January 21st, we have a one and a half hour seminar. It's called Loss of a Spouse. Mm. And it's an offshoot of Grief Share. Um, and it's specifically designed for folks who have lost a spouse. You know. Right. Um, so that's uh, this coming Saturday. Um, you can find information about that on the website, of course. And then you have four classes that are starting the first week of February, right? Right, right. So we'll have two on Thursday night, and those two will be Grief Share. Um, and uh, it will also be uh, Boundaries. Boundaries is about learning to set healthy limits uh, on our lives, in our lives, with people too. Uh, and then of course Grief Share is uh, if you've lost a loved one. There's all kinds of losses in life, but Grief Share is specifically if you've lost someone uh, in death. Mm. And um, so th those groups run anywhere from 10 to 13 weeks. So okay. it's, it's weekly. And then on Sundays, we'll be offering, it's called Safe People and also Divorce Care. Okay. In the Safe People group, we learn about, again, healthy relationships, uh, healthy interpersonal interactions. We, we learn to recognize if there's someone in our life or someone who's trying to be in our life that it's, it's, uh, it's toxic or yeah. something along that line. And then uh, divorce care is for folks who are separated or divorced. And that's a great group because there's a lot of wonderful information and testimonies. And again, biblical teachings about how to handle the stress and pain of mm. divorce or separation. Now we were talking before, and I, I told you I had a couple family members that have gone through both loss of a spouse and grief share and how healing it was, you know, the, the part of their healing journey to be a part of those groups. Yeah. What would you say maybe to someone who's listening to you and, and thinking, uh, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I should join or, or try it out. obviously try it out, yeah. jump in? Well, actually, the, it's, it's good to come and try, because a lot of people don't like groups or talking groups. Right. But I recommend you come and try it three times, you know, three separate weeks, and see if it's for you. 
in our journey of healing, sometimes we're at a place where we're not ready to be in a group and share our hurts. But yeah. then there are times where we're like, yeah, I, I want to talk about some of this. I want to learn. I want to be in a group where other people know what it is like to be separated or divorced or have lost a loved one. Okay. So, yeah, check it out and give us a, give us a try. Give us a try. Yeah. So the way that you would do that, if you're online or if you're in the room, you just go to the weekly page. There's a link there called Breakthrough. If you click that link, it, goes, it lists out all four of those groups and the seminar as well. Um, really would encourage you kind of to take that leap this semester and try out the group, as Jen said, for maybe at least three times just to see if yeah. it would be something for you. 